Good evening. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person. Fritoff Nansen died 84 years ago after a lifetime of service to humanity. He was the first High Commissioner for Refugees, and he is an inspiration to us all. So it is wonderful that tonight we honor a group of women he would have been proud to know and work alongside, Colombia's Mariposas, the Butterflies. These heroic women live and work in one of the most violent and dangerous places on Earth. In their circumstances, we would all have our work cut out for us simply trying to survive and take care of our families. But for the Mariposas, that is not enough. With exceptional courage, they seek out women whose lives are in danger, sometimes even sheltering them in their own homes. In particular, they help survivors of sexual violence. Wherever there is conflict, rape is used as a weapon to terrorize and intimidate. It causes horrific injuries. It inflicts a lifetime of suffering. It prevents many young girls from completing their education and following their dreams. For them, the butterflies can represent the difference between life and death, hope and despair. They are on the ground, recording the facts, helping survivors to access education, skills and justice, and to change their lives. Women are incredibly vulnerable during conflict. They can indeed sometimes seem like butterflies, fragile, easily crushed. But like butterflies, they are also a symbol of hope, of regeneration, of new life. They stand for generosity, selflessness, and of survival against the odds, even in the bleakest of landscapes. The Mariposas draw on their strength as women to help thousands of vulnerable people who would otherwise have no rights and no protection. They richly deserve this award. I hope that it brings more international support for their work so that they can help more women find safety, and in particular to build the safe house that they need. I hope it helps more people to understand everywhere that we have to change attitudes to sexual violence and to end impunity for these crimes. And above all, I hope it will give hope and heart to survivors and to human rights defenders in Buenaventura and across Colombia and our world. Congratulations. Thank you for your work.